Hello and welcome to the First and Worst podcast, uh, where we debate some of the hardest hitting questions in sport. I'm Mason Harding. To the right of me is... Christopher Moore. And across the table is... Jason Orr. And today we are going to be discussing some hockey topics. If you're not familiar how this works, is each of us have picked the best and the worst of um, specific categories. So we're just going to talk about those and debate. And uh, you guys let us know in the comments what you think uh, we were right about and what you think we were wrong about. Before we get started, we're going to go ahead and cut it to to commercial and then we'll be right back with our discussion. At the University of Central Missouri, we don't stop. We can not slow down because we're too busy making things happen. Accelerate your future with our top ranked programs. Go beyond the limits because your potential is limitless. Jumpstart your career with personalized support. 95% of UCM undergrads find a job or begin grad school within six months of graduation. It's your future. Get in the fast lane because at UCM, red means go. Apply at ucmo.edu. Find undergraduate and graduate programs in Warrensburg, Lee Summit, and online. WK has been serving Central Missouri for over 100 years, a family atmosphere driven by four generations of ownership. Whether you're in the market for a car, truck, or SUV, our friendly and knowledgeable sales staff is here to assist with your next vehicle purchase. Or if your current vehicle needs maintenance, our award-winning service department with master certified technicians will work on any make or model. We want you to join the WK family and see why it's a great day at WK. Visit WKFamily.com or come see us in Sedalia and Boonville. The highest recognition for the highest performing student athlete given to the top female and male student athlete for their impact on and off the playing field from the top NCAA Division II athletic conference in the country. Follow your favorite teams all year long and tune in this June to see who takes home this prestigious honor. MIAA Ken B. Jones Award presented by Summit Point Financial Group. Heroes Restaurant and Pub is a local legend that has been serving Warrensburg since 1981. Come enjoy one of our award-winning burgers or everybody's favorite, Heroes Onion Rings. Whether it's lunch or a night out with friends, satisfy your cravings with our mouth-watering food and refreshing beverages. Check out our daily happy hour and nightly drink specials and, of course, the unknown hero. There is a great experience waiting for you at Heroes Restaurant and Pub, 107 West Pine Street in historic downtown Warrensburg. All right, and now we are back from commercial, and we are going to get into our first topic. So, Chris, what is the first topic on today's agenda? So our first topic is a good one. It's a classic, best of the worst staple. It is best logos. For mine, I have the Minnesota Wilds. So okay. I have this logo because, A, beautiful colors, gorgeous colors. It's probably the most colorful NHL logo out there. And even if it's not, it's the best colorful logo in NHL history. B, it's got, it's a artistic piece. It's very artistic, right? It's a wolf, and then there's a woods inside the head. That's dope. Okay. Honestly, someone made that, and that's I cool. I mean, anybody can put any shreds of lines together, and it can decently look like something, and they call that art, so. Yeah, okay, like, Jason. Like, some people, like Jackson Pollock, literally would just sneeze on a canvas, and they call that art, so I don't know, dude. Yeah. Okay, you guys, have, <laughs> you have no shred of artistic talent in your bodies, and that's fine. You don't understand art? Do that's we know okay. who we're talking to okay, over on. here? Oh, yeah. sorry. Or, like, do we know who we're talking to over yeah. there? Oh, like, all right. All right, okay, Chris. Okay. Chris, you're hands down the least talented person at this table. Oh. Oh. How's that feel? Oh. Okay, I'll okay. be honest, I have no artistic I'm like, leaving this room. Painting oh. ability. I'll leave that. <laughs> he just gets up and leaves. Okay, hey, Jason. You, okay. You, you, you bring the big dog, you bring you bring him in, you're gonna get bit, man. Don't don't yeah, you, can't, you can't invite Jason on the podcast and not expect to get roasted a little bit. That's all I'm saying. Okay. I'm a I'm a lover, not a fighter. I've never fought in my life. So okay. I'll just take it. Jason, Fair enough. What do you think is the best logo then? What well, is definitely more not the Minnesota Wild yeah, logo. I would agree. I would There's agree. probably Sorry. ten other logos I would Better. choose way yeah. before that one. That's a mid tier. I think I'm. I think I'm kind of showing off the best logo okay. right now. And you know, when we really break it down, it's obviously going to be the St. Louis Blues. We look at the colors, just immaculate. Like, look at this beautiful hint of blue. Like this beautiful shade. It's unlike any other kind of blue you've ever seen in your life. And then unlike, you know, just shreds of, uh, you know, lines and stuff, this is an actual music shape note. This is, this is a symbol. Mm -hmm. It's a symbolic thing. And it means uh, the sa city of St. Louis kind of built around the um, music that they have in the city. And so 
all around, it's just the top logo of the entire NHL. I don't care what anyone else says. No, that's fine. I love the Lowe's blue, the hardware store blue. That's nice. The Lowe's blue. Um, I mean, two completely different shades. Or put one up side no. by side. Blue, and they're the same you know? color. No, I, I think I think it's a great logo. I think it's actually a killer logo. It's mm-hmm. super readable, and I think it's cool that it pays homage to the actual city that you're in. You know, being St. Louis, you know, known for the blues and everything like that. Like, like in general, I think it's a killer logo. Readable are, colors are great. Like, is Minnesota trying to be like I don't like where they are they trying to like embedded their wildness or something? Yes, yes. there's yeah. how wild they are. You you're all classy. <laughs> you're all classy with your blues. We play music. We're so cool. How many Stanley Cups? I don't know. Uh, zero, but that's fine. <laughs> it didn't I, say he roots for them. He no, like I just like their logo. Fair I, enough, I like enough. when they play because I get enough. to look at the logo. But okay, I hate to admit you this. You like to watch losing. I hate to admit Ouch. this, but I do love the Blues logo. Oh, See, I do, and, I, and the oh. bad guy strikes again. And I love, <laughs> I I do like Mason said. I like how it's not an animal. It's more of like the city and like a piece of the city history. I like that a lot. Exactly. Yeah. But Mason, let's cut over to you, my man. What are you thinking? All right. I think it's hard for me. It's it's going to be tough to disagree with one of these and say that this logo is bad. You have to say it's at least top three, even if you don't think it's the best. The San Jose Sharks. Are you kidding me? The San Jose Sharks logo is mean, dude. That's so mean. Number one, sharks are cool as right? Sharks are awesome. Okay. Number two, (laughs) it's just a great design to me. I don't know. You got a cool little shark on there. Like, come on. San Jose Sharks goes goes mean. I think it's lazy, but oh my I think God. they could do better with it. For a logo, it's just a shark and a broken hockey stick. Yeah. It's kind of mean. That's it. It's literally, it's, it's like on Photoshop, you just go to Google Images, type in a picture <laughs> of an shark. animated shark, and you just put the two together. Okay. Yeah. Right. Whatever. I think it's cool. I think it's kind of the lamest thing a shark could be doing. It's breaking but a It's just breaking stick. a breaking yeah, hockey yeah, stick, enough, but like... Enough. It could have been, been biting it in half. That would have been kind of yeah. mean, actually. That would have been kind of tough. But Okay, well then, fine. Okay, fine. Whatever. San Jose Sharks goes hard, but whatever. Okay. Uh, what about the worst? I'll, I'll start with this one. I think the Washington Capitals logo is garbage just because it's just letters with the hockey stick as the L. Like, uh, Or is it the L in the middle? I can't remember. I think it's – it doesn't matter. Either way, it's basically just spelt out with a hockey stick in the middle of it. It's just lazy. It's not good. I will say this. I agree with you on that, but if you look back in the day to some of their old retro jerseys, oh, they have some those things were kind of sick. They were pretty cool. They were pretty cool. Yeah, I bet so. But uh, my worst one definitely has to be even a rival of the St. Louis Blues. So I'm a fan, obviously. I, mm-hmm. I'm very passionate about the game, and uh, some of these uh, – uh, Players I might come after today and teams, you know, I it, it might be due to facts I do not like them in the first place, rival games, stuff like that. But the worst logo, I think, is the Dallas Stars logo. Yeah, I think it's, pretty bad. it's yeah. more lazier than the San Jose Sharks. I just think it's a star. It, all it is is a star and a D. Yeah, it's pretty It's pretty rough. I don't like I that mean, one either. With their colors and their, yeah. it's like the lime green. Like, the lime green, it's just ugly. Ugh. Yeah, it's not good. No. I would agree. Yeah, that one's bad. Yeah, I kind of am going off the same boat with my worst one. I Kind of just a lazy logo. I went with the Tampa Bay Lightning. Solid. Yeah. Classic. Yeah. Good answer. Good yeah. answer. Yeah, it's yeah. great yeah. answer, Chris. Yeah. Terrible logo. Yep. Just not, yeah. We don't even have to say Just a lightning that. strike. That's no, it. Not it's even. Not it's great. funny. No, it's funny how you guys are saying these to me right now, and you're like, oh, I just think the Capitals are... They're they're pretty lazy with their logo. It's just the letters, and then you're like, oh, the lightning. It's just lightning strike. Yeah, yeah. I was like, you guys' knowledge of the actual game, it just kills me right now. I, and I, I mean, you both are giving great answers, though. That's the thing. Like, yeah. If like you gave one bad answer so far, but See, just, other than no. that, it's all right. Everybody, like, the answers have been solid so far. Yeah, I was going to say, <laughs> FYI, me and Chris don't watch a whole lot of so- uh, soccer, NHL. Yeah, like, they're not much into it like I am. So yeah. we're kind of we're kind of picking these up uh, just, like, as an outside perspective yeah. here. From an outside perspective, the design itself, those suck. <laughs> no. Okay, let's move on. Let's go to jerseys. And, and same kind of thing here. I'm going strictly off of just the looks of the jersey. I'm going to say my best jersey 
Pittsburgh Penguins jersey kind of goes tough. Oh, Dude, man. the Pittsburgh, no. Pittsburgh Guys, Penguins. It no. goes. It's tough. It's tough. No. It's tough, dude. Black and gold with the sick oh. penguin playing the hockey. Dude, come on. That was Pittsburgh mine. Penguin. Yeah. So we had the same idea. Guys. Even, okay, yeah, you're right. I didn't even look at your list. No, my bad, that's my bad. good. Oh. Okay, so me and Chris right here, me and Chris both agree. Pittsburgh Penguins is the best jersey in the league. It goes hard. Nice color scheme. Black and gold. Good logo. Great overall. What okay. do you think about the penguin, though? The penguin's not bad. I don't oh. dislike the penguin. I, I like think the penguin. Like, the jer- uh, I think the penguin's sick because then it looks like it's like hockey. It screams hockey. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, it's very. Some of the uh, other ones, I'm, I'd be like, eh, it's it's all right. But at least you could be like, that's a hockey jersey. Like mm-hmm. it just goes tough. It's very Canada too. Yeah, I would. I think it's just cool. I think it's just cool. So then, what's yours then? If you don't like all that right. one, all right. And I had to pull it up real quick just because it's that good. So mine is another St. Louis Blues jersey. I so here's the thing, fanboy over I, here. So yeah, I'm gonna fanboy okay. for a while. But once you guys, hopefully, <laughs> we'll throw the graphic in for the audience to see, yeah, and we'll it's see it. it's a sick jersey. So uh, I I knew you guys were probably gonna stick to the basics of just classic, yeah. like yeah. Pre- present NHL jerseys. I kind of strayed away from that. I really dug deep into mine. My first one for the best jersey is St. Louis Blues 90s Throwback Edition. The reason I like this, we have a lots of colors to estrange from. We have the classic St. Louis Blue note at the top, and then we have the classic blue, and then we've got a little bit of yellow at the bottom, and then we've got some red, which is completely different. You guys check that out. Yeah, that is tough. I'll give it to you. No, it's yeah, it's that is, cool. That is hard. I See, like that. Yeah, yeah. but yeah, it's a little like jersey that. tuck mm. on the back. It hits oh. you. It, hit, it definitely hits like older vibe. Like it does have like a '90s vibe. Oh, it's yeah. not as modern. That's that's kind of that's kind of tight. Yeah. yeah, I like that one. Oh, okay. I can't disagree. That's pretty hard. No, I, it's pretty hard. It's all right. I want to hear what your guys' worst jerseys are, though. This Chris, is going to be go, interesting. I will What's jump in my worst jerseys. I went with the Arizona Coyotes. Yeah, they're not uh, good. Reverse retro. What? I was just about to say their home is not the good one. Their retro is. I don't like it. No. I think think the color combination, I think if it was reversed, I I, think it would be better. I think the the one they have the most of, I think, is the green, right? No. Okay, let me. But I think the one they have the most of is the worst color they have on the logo. You got to pull, like, some old school retro jerseys, like some, like, 90s. Like, when but, they first got to get, like, when the Arizona Coyotes first was uh, a team, like, the original jerseys were probably some of the coolest jerseys known to mankind in the NHL. Some people mm. will probably disagree hardcore with me on that. I think they were pretty sick. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not I'm not too familiar with yeah. that specific one, but, like... Oh, it's the, yeah, it's purple. Sorry. Yeah, let me see that really oh, quick. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. That. Is that the one you don't like? Yeah, yeah, that's pretty goofy. I don't. No. Like, that looks like a cartoon. That looks like a cartoon. I love I that thing. It. Ugh, it's pretty, and it's, it's also just, it's all right. I, I like their know. logo, and I think that helps it a little bit. I think it's the colors. I think if it's orange mostly with purple accents, I think I'd like it. I got you. Yeah, but I don't I like that. I don't like the mostly purple. Well, Jason, what do you have as your worst? My worst, definitely the biggest rival of the St. Louis Blues, a team I absolutely hate, despise with every single bit in my system. The 2019 Chicago Blackhawks Winter Classic jersey. Mm. You guys pull that thing up, Mm. and it is the ugliest thing you've ever seen. Now, I'm not dissing on the Chicago Blackhawks logo. It's a classic. It's one of the original NHL teams. Uh, It's it's just an iconic jersey. You said it's which one? The Chicago Blackhawks 2019 Winter Classic. Winter Classic. It's an all-black jersey. Ooh. With it's all black with just white, like and ah. it's white like lettering and the white logo. What? You don't I like hate no, black that and is, white jerseys. You got so look. At, yeah, no, no. Yeah, that's that tough. is so. I'm sorry, ugly. that's no. tough. It looks like a Starbucks. Look like, up. It kinda, uh, does look yeah, like a Starbucks now look logo. up like their original jersey. Like that's look up like the classic. Tough, okay, like the red. Look up the classic like red basic. Yep. Yep. Because that's Sounds a classic good. as well. Yeah, I hate I don't them. diss on the jersey. I just cannot stand the Chicago Blackhawks. I hate black yeah, and white they're jerseys. Yeah, they're OG red one and the white one. They're both, those like, are both, both pretty solid. Kicks those are both solid. That one and the and black. And even the black one's not bad. Yeah. But- 
Yeah, the one the circle the adding the circle around it is kind of weird. But if they just did the black and white with like the regular logo, I think it'd be all right. But yeah, whatever. So okay, lazy. okay, I agree. whatever, whatever. You guys can have your opinion. You might hate me for this one. I don't know. Mm-hmm. We'll see. I think this one's ugly. I would never. You couldn't catch me in this. I would never wear this. Okay, my worst is going to be the Columbus Blue Jackets. Check this out. Check this out, dude. It's oh yeah. my god. I agree with it's you. It's like it's like tacky American. It looks like I'm wearing an American flag or something. Like yeah. it's just tacky. The logo, that's that I don't know how I didn't pick that for my worst logo. Yeah. That's awful. That's just awful. Ugly. Bleh. Looks like something Easy someone enough. in JROTC would wear. Yeah, exactly. Like, yeah, yeah, nothing, exactly. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, it's just not, I wear. No dissing JROTC people. I'm dissing or JROTC. Anything. Okay, fine. Ooh, ouch. Okay, whatever. No, cool. I'm not dissing because they'll <laughs> beat like, me I'm up. Yeah. I'm not dissing. I'm not dissing. They can do way more push ups than me. That's yeah, all no, I know. So not happening, okay? So um, that would be – I think that's it for the jersey so far. I don't think there's anything else to say Good about Good first those. two topics. That's not bad. So moving on from there, are we going to go straight into mascots right quick? What do you think? Yeah, I think we can do mascots do pretty mascots quick. Do mascots before I'm break. going – Okay. The best logo – I mean best mascot. Sorry. I'm still thinking of the best logo being the Minnesota Wilds. But oh, no. the I'm best cool. mascot is uh, the Los Angeles Kings, Bailey the Lion. I think this mascot right. not only looks good, but I think it's got some sass. It's got, like, some Twitter. <laughs> like, I think it's cool. I think Dude. Bailey the Lion's cool. I think yeah. oh, it's, it's a good-looking mascot, too. It's not too realistic. There's some NHL ones that are, like, way too cartoony and some that are way too realistic. So, yeah. When I went with my worst one, <laughs> I went on the cartoon route. Yeah. I went yeah. on the cartoon route. I didn't yeah. even choose my favorite. Like, I didn't even choose... Blue Louie. Who'd you choose? My favorite. My favorite has to be hands down. And uh, some people who I know who will watch this after I send it to them are going to give me for this, but Gritty from the Philadelphia Flyers, I think, Uh is the most wildest mascot known to mankind. You like he's gritty? barely born. He's he's only a couple of years old, but mm, he's barely born. Dude, like every game, he's every home game, he's like chucking a cake in someone's face and crap. Okay, like, that, that is dude hard. is tough. nuts, and he's like got the big. He's got yeah. like this big old belly. No one can tell what this thing actually like. What it's supposed to be. It's not yeah. like an animal. Mm, it's it's just like, like a thing. It's yeah. like a thing. Like it's kind yeah, of like you. It's kind of like you be. Well, not you be. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, the uh, the uh, Philadelphia fanatic yes. from the. Yes. Uh, yeah, oh, I know. Yeah, you're yeah, talking talking about, I know what you're talking about. But yeah, yeah, it's kind of like that. It's yeah. just like you can't, you don't know what it is. It's just like a thing. Yeah, 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 yeah that's kind of cool. Wild. Okay, design wise, mm. I don't know if he's the best, but like if he's throwing cakes in people's face, that's hard. Like if he's a sick mascot, dude, he's great. like okay. wild. Okay, that's cool. see, it's yeah. hilarious. Like you need to pull up like a best of gritty on YouTube. It's hilarious. Out. I have him as my worst one. I'll say that now. What? I, I don't like. I think he does too much. No. I think he, he tries to hilarious. upstage the game, and I don't. I don't like it. I think it's. It's an. It's too it's much. It's an external part of the game. It's yeah. Sideline stuff. No. You know? yeah, yeah. I literally. think he's trying to upstage it. And <laughs> Just I think, good old commercial break. I don't material, like this thing. Yeah. Exactly. Good old commercial break material for he's the gotta fans. Be, he's got to be chucking popcorn on people or something, mm-hmm. right? I exactly. Hope so. I'd hope it's like so. Benny the Bull in yeah, the NBA. I was, I was about that's to say, say. He's, he's like always Benny. chucking yeah, popcorn Benny, on Benny people. Benny is always messing with people for yeah. real. For real. I, think that's, I think that's always funny, like interacting with the fans and stuff, yeah. just messing with the other team. It's great. No. But Mason, who's Chris your hates best it. one? Chris I hates do. It. Stop messing it, with the fans. We're here to watch hockey. It ruins the <laughs> sanctity of the game. We're having that cop test between dude the best. Even watch hockey, and he hates it. I was it. about He's to say, man, like I'm the, the hockey game. watcher here, man. Like, <laughs> I don't watch it because I know. I'll tell you, I know if you're Gritty's watching on up. TV, he's really not going to pop up, man. See, like the reason Jason's watching hockey is for the fights mm-hmm. and for the mascots. Yeah. Hey, we're gonna have he a good time talking him. about the fights after the break. I know. Here in just a second. Well, let's let's speed this up. My favorite mascot. It's got to definitely be. Wild Wing from the Anaheim Ducks, dude. Are you kidding me? He's dude. That's He's dude. tough. That is so tough, dude. He's so tough. Okay, yep. his face. His face is like built into an OG hockey mask. Like, dude, that's killer. He. He's oh, like. Yeah. He's like kind of scary. You know what I mean? Like, he's yeah. he's got a tough look. Like, if oh, I yeah. if I walked in and was playing those guys, you know what I mean? Like in high school or something. If that was their mascot, I'd be like, oh, <laughs> you better you better watch out. These guys are gonna slap us right now, dude. They're about to clap us for real. It's yeah. over. Definitely a good one. That's Definitely a good one. Yeah. That's a good. That's a good he's one. He's a top tier. The ducks are good. I think great. ducks were like my second for every topic almost. Really? Yeah. Ducks, ducks got a solid. Ducks were good. Ducks I got like a it. solid. But solid what's your marketing. worst logo? I mean, ducks worst mascot together. then? My worst mascot. 
Okay, my worst is Bernie from the Colorado Avalanche. Solid. Oh, trash. trash. Who cares Matt, about the Avalanche? Dude, no, he just looks awful. The Avalanche are terrible. <laughs> yeah. Forget the Avalanche. Avalanche they just worse. won a Stanley Cup a couple years ago, but they're no, so they're bad. Trash. <laughs> kind of like the Blues, I guess, kind of, but that's okay. <laughs> Whatever. But yeah, no, Bernie's just not good looking. He's not scary. He's mm. not. He just kind of looks like gross to me. I'm like. Yeah, nah. I would be I would be ashamed if he was like the mascot, you know, for my team. Mm-hmm. Like if I yeah, it's like, like uh, it, it makes no sense, honestly. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, like whatever. The avalanche is burning. Because like cool. honestly, okay. Aside from all that, it's just because I'm a Blues fan and they kicked the crap out of us recent. They're kicking the crap out of us the last couple of years, mm-hmm. but the Colorado Avalanche is such a solid team. Like, right, right. Straight. Pa- like they're they're pretty. Always they're pretty powerful. Yeah, they're, yeah. They're pretty powerful guys. And, uh, yeah, for it being a dog, it's... Yeah, like, it's like, come on. Come really? on. You can do and I love better. dogs. You can do a lot better. Yeah. So then what's your worst mascot then? I'd have to go with Stinger from the Columbus Blue Jackets. Yeah. That's fair. I bad too. That's fair. cannot stand <laughs> yeah. that thing. Like, it looks so weird, <laughs> like, to me. It's yeah. just, like, got the big, giant, like, red eyeballs, and it's, like, neon, like, yeah, it's kinda cool. face nah. with, like, the long, like, stinger, which you're, like, that's obviously plastic or right. something, like, yeah. foam yeah. or yeah. styrofoam. Yeah, yeah take it out. Yeah. It's weird. It's not good looking. No. But I think that's all the time we've got for these segments, so we're going to go ahead and throw it to commercial right quick, and we'll come back, and we'll be discussing our last two topics. Stick around. Come on down to Bodie's on Pine and experience a Warrensburg staple. Need a break from the stress of papers and exams? We have dancing and live music from some of the hottest bands in the area. Want to showcase your hidden musical talents? We have karaoke with the $4 Wells every Wednesday night. We're open Wednesday through Saturday, 7 p.m. to 1.30 a.m. Also come see us for all of your fraternity and sorority parties or socials or casual get-togethers. Bodie's has been a staple in Warrensburg since 1976. That's Bodie's at 126 West Kind Street in downtown Warrensburg. WK has been serving Central Missouri for over 100 years, a family atmosphere driven by four generations of ownership. Whether you're in the market for a car, truck, or SUV, our friendly and knowledgeable sales staff is here to assist with your next vehicle purchase. Or if your current vehicle needs maintenance, our award-winning service department with master certified technicians will work on any make or model. We want you to join the WK family and see why it's a great day at WK. Visit WKFamily.com or come see us in Zedalia and Boonville. The highest recognition for the highest performing student athlete given to the top female and male student athlete for their impact on and off the playing field from the top NCAA Division II athletic conference in the country. Follow your favorite teams all year long and tune in this June to see who takes home this prestigious honor. MIAA Ken B. Jones Award presented by Summit Point Financial Group. At the University of Central Missouri, we don't stop. We can't slow down because we're too busy making things happen. Accelerate your future with our top-ranked programs. Go beyond the limits because your potential is limitless. Jumpstart your career with personalized support. 95% of UCM undergrads find a job or begin grad school within six months of graduation. It's your future. Get in the fast lane because at UCM, red means go. Apply at ucmo.edu. Find undergraduate and graduate programs in Warrensburg, Lee Summit, and online. All right, and now we are back here. We're going to talk about this last topic, which is going to be the best fights slash fighters. And I know that Jason has been really excited mm-hmm. to talk about this. He was uh, kind of hyping up his answer before uh, before we started this podcast. So you know what? Let's start it off with Jason and let him kind of take the floor here. Who is your best fighter? Let's talk about some fights here. All right. So uh, for my best fights, I've got two. One's an obvious and the other one's a blues player, mm-hmm. of course. I'm going to go with the Blues player first, because that's my top one, and that would be Ryan Reeves taking on Paul Bissonetti. Now, Paul Bissonetti, he is one of the podcasters now for, um, uh, gosh, what's the one called? It's uh, the uh, Barstool. Mm-hmm. Spitting, it might be Spitting Chicklets. I'm not mm-hmm. sure. But it's the hockey. It's the I top the hockey, hockey top. Barstool yeah. podcast, and mm-hmm. it's... Uh, Paul Bissonetti and uh, Ryan Whitney, who run it. Gotcha. And he's, I mean, Paul Bissonetti's a funny guy. He works for a TNT now for the NHL, but back in the day when he used to play, he was mm-hmm. kind of a fighter too. 
He decided to come after Big Bad Ryan Reeves, who was the top dog of fighting back in 2012. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, Ryan Reeves took on Paul Bessonetti, and uh, probably three punches later, uh, this is the one where he grabs, Ryan Reeves grabbed Paul Bessonetti by the back mm -hmm. and does like a sumo flip around his back. Oh. Flips Paul, like does like a full 360 and boom, hits the ice. And then Paul Bessonetti gets up and Ryan Reeves gets off and he's like, wow, ah! he's like craning at him <laughs> That's and stuff. Great. It's oh, hilarious. That's a great one. But my honorable mention is a classic. It's kind of known as the greatest fight of all time. Mm. It's uh, uh, regarded with a lot of hockey fans. Uh, back in 1979, the Bruins were playing the New York Rangers in... I believe this was in New York, I would think. And uh, 1979, Mike Milbury was playing with the uh, Boston Bruins at the time. And he was a guy who uh, now works for, I believe it's the NHL Network, and uh, does sports casting for them. And they always love to bring this clip up to him because in this fight, it started on the ice between both teams, mm -hmm. full-out brawl on the ice between every player on the team, goalies and everything included. And some of the Rangers fans started throwing <laughs> stuff at the Bruins players on the ice during the fights. And Mike Milbury gets up into the bleachers, jumps over the glass, hops up there, <laughs> chases this one guy down, basically tackles him into the, uh, into the aisle. And then he proceeds to take his shoe off. Not his own just shoe, the other his guy's own, shoe. The, the other guy's yeah. shoe, okay. not his skate, okay. not his yeah. skate. No, yeah. no, no, he doesn't take his skates off and do this. He takes the guy's shoe off that he has on the ground and just starts popping him with it, just like pummeling <laughs> him into him. That's great. Like beating the crap out of him with the shoe. And it's it, it's known as one of the greatest fights of all time. Mm. That's great. So, Dude, yeah, that, those are my be two funny. best fights that I always love the clips, too. Yeah, that's awesome. Them. That's awesome. Okay. Dang, Chris. Well, I don't think you can top that, but you can no. go ahead and try. Who's your best fighter and or fight? What did you get down So here? my best fight, I just picked Bob Proper. Uh, they just said he fought a whole bunch. He had like 134 fights. No, 33 fights. Sorry. He had 134 fight uh, penalty minutes, I think. Oh, Do you I got, got you. who he yeah. played for? Uh, no, I didn't. Dang it. Uh, that's my bad. It's all good. Um, yeah, so he got in 33 fights. I don't know how much he won. I don't know what his win-loss record was in fights, but doesn't matter if you're fighting that much that's that's hardcore that's hardcore yeah. see so i'm kind of in the same boat here i was just kind of like looking up a list of the better fighters and here's why i chose this guy so this guy right here he is i'll, I'll introduce him at the end he'll give you the <laughs> stats that i've got okay <laughs> first off they said this guy is five foot eight so he's one of the Ooh, shortest short hockey players mm -hmm. that have played in a long time he played back in the day i believe it said i don't quote me on this, but I think it said in the maybe the 80s. Mm -hmm. um, his name is Ty Domi, um, mm -hmm. and uh, he's five foot eight, and he has the third most penalty minutes of all time. Okay, <laughs> so you know that this Good guy stat. was banging, right? This guy was <laughs> smacking people up in the in the ring. You know what I mean? So uh, not only that, but they said that um, he often knocked people out at five foot eight. Like he had mm -hmm. he had a whole bunch of times where he he'd throw a couple of sucker punches, just knock dudes cold. So dude was born to fight five foot eight. Wasn't afraid of anybody. I think that he's got that dog in him. Mm -hmm. If you're a short dude and you're knocking out big old hockey guys, you got you got to be a good fighter. So he's barking and that, biting. That's why yeah. he's yeah. That's what I'm saying. He barks and he bites, dude. That's all I'm saying. So that's kind of tough. So let's uh let's quickly go down our worst fighters. Then mine would have to definitely be Sean Avery, and it's not so much that he's. Uh, <laughs> I think it's hilarious. He mm -hmm. was just a really bad like he was a goon. He's known as the biggest goon of all time. <laughs> like there's videos of him like with a uh, Martin Brodeur and going. He's like in front of him. With with his stick, like, trying to just, yeah. like, block his sight. <laughs> and, like, there's a big-time rivalry between Sean Avery and Martin Broder. But Sean Avery, look that guy up. Mm. Definitely an instigator. Dang. Yeah. For my worst, I picked because I thought it was funny to pick for this show, Rudy Poshnek. That's I just, great. I just thought it was funny because I just imagined Rudy from our show. And I Rudy can't fight. So and, and Rudy's name is Rudy Potoshnik, which is like almost the same thing. Yeah. And Rudy can't fire. Rudy. So no. that's kind of the two. That was my pick. Here. That's pretty it was funny. very deep cut and only for me, really, but But still great. Yeah. 
Yeah. Real quickly, my my worst was Tory Robertson. Same kind of deal. I just looked up a list. They said that dude wouldn't even throw a punch. Would just kind of uh, would kind of just uh, deflect, and that was about it. But anyway, I think that's all the time we've got here to talk about this uh, NHL podcast, and uh, we're gonna wrap it up. And uh, thank you guys so much for checking out the episode, and we'll see you next time.